Hi, this is Galit Gopar, and thank you very much for joining me here today. Welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you feeling today? I hope you're feeling great because our quote of the day is, you need a name for every stage of your life. Butterflies don't go by the word caterpillar forever, and they certainly don't, don't go by Pupa, one second longer than they have to, by Sasha Martin. Well, we all grow and develop and mature throughout the phases, the different stages of our life. But to make the most out of our life, we will need to move through the natural phases of life and complete each phase in the best possible way for us. It is important to learn about the four different phases of life so that not only can we make sure that we are staying on track in the best possible way for us uh, so that we can live a good life, but also so that we can understand other people's behaviors better when they are not in the same phase of life as us. All people go through these four phases in life. For some people, the transition between the different phases is natural. Well, for others, transition doesn't happen that easily and they may get stuck in a certain phase for much longer than is good for them. For most people, the phases do overlap and then there is a to and fro between the phases. There may be a to and fro between the phases during the transition period. So let's look into the different four phases of our life cycle. I call them the four C's, conforming, conquering, consolidation, and contribu contribution. Well, the first phase is uh, what I call the conforming phase. The goal of this phase is to teach us how to function in society as best as we possibly can. It teaches us which decisions are best and which actions are best in order to fit in. This is a very important phase in our life, ensuring that we can live with other people in the best way possible. In this phase, we copy other people's behaviors. We copy whom uh, we copy the behaviors of people who are older than us. Uh, we want we want to look like other people. We want to look like we are conforming basically we want to dress in a similar fashion as other people we want to behave as other people do so we copy their behavior in this phase people pleasing is quite the norm while we slowly learn some independence at this stage rejection and being judged by others is very hard for us and this stage lasts until approximately the age of 18 on average then we move on to the second stage, second phase in our life, and this is what I call the conquering phase. It usually lasts up to the age of between 28 and 38. In this phase, we focus on what makes us unique. In this phase, independence is very, very important. Making our own decisions and learning to understand ourselves is very important to us at this stage. This stage requires us to experiment with new people, new places, and new things. And we feel that we want to and we can conquer the world. We see no limitations. We feel that we can do everything. We go after external success and materialism. But as we experiment, we see that there are some experiences that go well for us and others that don't. In this phase, we learn what we are good at and we learn what we are not so good at. We learn what we should be doing and what we should not be doing. With regards to relationships, we learn which relationships are right for us and which are less right for us. And hopefully we learn to settle into one relationship without feeling that there is always something that, out there that can be better for us. It's not only right in the relationship field, it's right in all the fields. We will focus. In this phase, we learn to admit our failures, at least to ourselves, and we see our limitations. At the end of this phase, we should know and slowly become more focused on what is right and good for us and what matters most for us. In this phase, we come to a realization that we can't have everything, even if we really want to have it. We learn that what we should focus on is what is right for us and what we can leave behind. By the end of this phase, we should carefully pick and choose what we have the best chances of success at and commit to this thing. Be it a relationship, a career, a life mission, or a life purpose, or a place to live. 
Then we move on to the third phase, which is the consolidation phase. And it begins right after the second phase, which it means between the ages of 27 and 38, 28 to 38, and goes on usually till ret retirement age or around 70 years, when we reach 70 years. At this stage, you can focus on certain things and improve them and make them better and stronger. You focus on certain relationships and certain ventures and projects that prove themselves resilient and worthwhile during the second phase. It is a phase in life when you work hard on things that have meaning and purpose for you. Everything that prevents this focus is slowly removed or replaced in our life. Hobbies, old dreams, friends, and partners may be removed or replaced if they disturb this consolidation period. Now you focus on what is really important and good for you, and you focus on your mission in life, and you get into full-fledged action. This is the stage of leaving your dent in the world. This is the stage that you can reach your full potential. And this moves us on to the fourth stage, the fourth phase in life, which is contribution. It begins when you feel as though there's not much else that you can accomplish and you feel as though you've had enough and you per prefer just to have fun with your friends and your family doing things that you love. You arrive at this phase after working hard to achieve meaningful and important goals. I call this the contribution stage, not because it is a time to contribute, but because it is time to make sure that your contribution reaches the people that it should reach and lasts beyond your own lifetime. At this phase, you will pass on your projects to other people or to your children. At this phase, you advise your children and help raise your grandchildren. At this phase, you may teach and adv or advise other people through your lectures, through politics, or through any different uh, art forms. This stage ensures that our life meant something. At each stage of life, our priorities change. We get nudges and pushes uh, to move us in the right direction all the time. But sometimes we need something big to push us, to make us reevaluate our choices. This can be a disease or a death of someone close to us or a traumatic event. This reevaluation that we go through moves us on to the next phase of life in search of a better way to pursue happiness. In the end, we learn that what we choose to live for will determine our level of happiness. We learn that when we base our happiness on internal, self-controlled values, then we will be at our happiest. The only reason we get stuck in a specific phase is when we think that we did not do enough. Uh, to move on from phase one to phase two, we must understand that we can never be enough for everybody all the time. This is why we must become independent of others. Now to move on from stage two, to, from phase two to phase three, we need to understand that we cannot accomplish everything that we dream and desire to accomplish. We can't be all over the place. We must focus on what matters most to us and commit to it. To move from phase three to phase four, we must understand that time and energy are limited. So we should now focus our attention on helping others take over our meaningful projects so that our projects can have a life of their own. To be at peace and move on from phase four, we must understand that we are part of a bigger picture and accept that what we, give the, what we gave the world is exactly what was needed and it was perfect. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself to make sure that you're on the right path towards your happiness and fulfillment. And the question of the day is, at what phase of life am I supposed to be at right now? And am I in the right phase for me right now? And if not, where do I feel as if I have not done enough yet? As usual, I recommend writing the question and your answers in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over it, reevaluate your life, and make sure that you are making the right progress for you. Now, to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I am a beautiful work in progress. 
I am a beautiful work in progress, and you are. So tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life when you repeat it over and over again. So thank you very much for joining me here. I hope you liked uh, this video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notifications every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you uh, achieve the health and wellness that you desire. Thank you very much for joining me.